Hey everybody, this is Intuitive Anthony doing another social media video, guys. If you want to donate to the channel, guys, the cash app information is on the screen. It's also in the description box if you want to leave a donation. You don't have to, but any donations are appreciated and are blessings. Okay, guys, I make videos for my chosen ones, us empaths who are born into families where we need to break generational curses and move our families from one status in life to another. Okay, guys, now this one is they spying on you. Yeah. Okay, guys, as a chosen one, I'm talking about narcissists. Narcissistic people are children of the enemy who are usually in your family. They could be siblings, relatives, mother, father, aunt, sister, brother, anybody. They can even be friends and acquaintances. Matter of fact, there's a lot of them out there, basically. Um, <laughs> they are everywhere. They're like roaches, you know what I mean? They're like bugs. They're everywhere. But they spying on you. Yeah. Um... Because nine times out of ten, if you've had a very bad situation with a narcissist, say you were in a relationship with one where they portrayed themselves to be something that they were not. And over time, when they first get with you, they, or when they first around you, they, they project to you everything that they think you expecting to see in them. So basically, they're basically shining a mirror to you through them of all the attributes and traits that you like that they possess none of. So basically, it's a big old illusion. So the person you're looking at, they're pretending they're a good person, but they're not. And as time goes on and you're with this person, you start seeing the other side come out. And you're sitting there wondering, where's that person I met when I first met this person? Where's that person at? Who the hell is this person? Who the hell is this? And as time goes on, now you're a creature of habit. Now you're used to this person. And they progressively get worse and get worse and get worse and you're like wait a minute the person i originally met is not here anymore that person was never really there they were always fake phony they were always a jive turkey they just wore a mask portraying to you everything you wanted to see while possessing none of those traits yeah so if you cut this person off say you got a divorce you didn't have any kids with this person you are very very lucky um or if you do got kids you went gray rock which means you give them no emotional support you deal with the matter of the children how are you doing that's a personal question that's none of your business you keep it very cut and dry so that they can get no fuel from that girl stop digging in my yard now my dogs are digging anyway um and you cut this person off because they are not who they claim to be they are a fake, a phony, a fraud. And you like, look, I'm tired of sitting around waiting for the person I originally met. Time waits for no man. And the one thing any of us cannot get back, we can get back possessions. We can get back a car. We can get back furniture. We can get back all that stuff. But you can't get time back. And the longer you spend with this person, the more time you are wasting. So you're like, you know what? I'm done. I'm done. Stick a fork in it. I'm done. And you move on and get away from these people. Oh, they're going to keep a watch on you. They're spying on you. Yeah. And if you got it to the point where you don't block them and they have no access to you, they will find somebody who is still has, has access to you and gaslight this person into keeping a tab on you for them. A lot of people do this and they don't know that they're doing it. So everybody that they use as a flying monkey it's not a narcissist and not fully aware of what kind of evil demonic being this is. So don't judge everybody by that scale. You know what I'm saying? It could be some people with purely good intentions that think that they're doing you a favor when in turn they're being duped and lied to because that's all narcissists do is lie. They're pathological liars. They lie so much that they lie themselves into a corner. And while they're in that corner, nobody wants to deal with them. That's when they slowly start to decay. But that's what they get for a lifetime of wickedness. They deserve everything they get. But they will use people who may still be in your life who, or who may actually have access to you. The access they have been denied because they know why they've been denied because they're a horrible, rancid human being. But they will use people to keep tabs on you so that they can give that information back to the narcissist. And the narcissist will probably tell this person they're doing it under the guise of love. But these creatures, these monsters, these demons don't have love in them. It's all for ulterior motives because that's what they live on. They live on ulterior motives. That's their bread and butter. That's their everyday thing. They watching you. 
once you make your peace with this, don't care. Don't care. Because you know what, though? You think any celebrity out there that's about their business and about their money and about their life and about getting the best out of this life care about what somebody else got to say? Some say all, some going to say everything. Some people got something to say about everything. They had something to say about Jesus, Yeshua, and he ain't did nothing wrong. So you don't think they're going to talk about you? But see, the only thing that you can change is the fact of how you care about it. Don't care. Let them say whatever they want to say, whatever gets them to sleep at night, whatever rocks that bald headed baby back to sleep, whatever. <laughs> whatever rocks that monster back to sleep, who cares? You know what I'm saying? And if you enjoy the fact that you get to the point in your life where you start to look at it and think about it, like, you know what? Even if I don't feel good today, I know somebody is at home losing their mind over what I got, over what I'm doing. That should give you some peace. And a lot of people go through this world wanting not to be forgotten. That's why a lot of artists make those Faustian bargains, those devil deals, so that they can kind of try to tie themselves to immortality. But think about it this way. You didn't have to sell your soul, and you know what your kingdom is. You know where you're going. And you still won't be forgotten. And you won't be forgotten because you did something great. You did something good. You stayed true to the end, which is what we're supposed to do. And be mindful. These narcissists, these demons walking around in human husk of a body. Um, Yeah. They know where they're going. They already know that. But see, by them occupying themselves with you, they can forget for a little while that they're going to burn. They're going to burn in hell with gasoline draws on. Yeah. And I'm talking for an eternity. Yeah, they know that's coming, but they can occupy themselves and fill up their mind with things that don't benefit them, but it helps them forget for a little while. So no matter how hard you try to cut these people off, and trust me, I have gone through great lengths to get rid of these people. Oh, but they will still periodically try to friend request you or, you know, have people in your area, in your vicinity, mean mugging you. I don't give a, I don't care. I don't care. You can do whatever you feel like you need to do, but stay your ass over there. Cool beans? Yeah. But see, this is the thing, guys. They are going to do all kinds of things because they're obsessive. They have an obsessive mind. It's a basic, it's a mental disease. It's sickening. But see, psychology, psychology calls it a mental disease. Spiritually, it's a demonic possession. You see the movies where people are demon, demon, demonically possessed and they flailing around and flipping and stuff like that? That's because the host that the demon is trying to enter is rejecting that entity. The reason these people don't freak out like that, these narcissists don't flail around like that, is because they invited this creature in. That's why there's no rejection between the spirit and their body. They already made room for this creature to come in. This creature has set up shop in that saggy body for the duration of their lifetime. You know what I'm saying? So don't really worry too much about it. They're going to spy on you. Get past that. You know what I'm saying? Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. At least look at it this way. You will never be forgotten. You will never be forgotten. But you do what your father told you to come here to do. How they feel about it, you could care less. Let them watch. Because as the more successful you get, the more it tears them up the more it eats to them alive. And shouldn't they get some of the pain that they gave you? Hey, sounds like justice to me. But that's not it. God's going to be the last one. God's going to be the last and final one to put the final nail in that coffin and hang that ass up on the wall. Don't worry about it. Your father's got this, guys. All right, guys, this is my video, and they spying on you guys. If you want to donate to the channel, the cash app information is down below on the screen. It's also in the description box, guys. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with somebody who may need it. It may help them out of a very tough situation in their lives, guys. But remember, if you like it, I love it. But remember, these narcs out here cold-blooded. Peace.